Uh, I have no fancy presentation. I am, as Philippa said, I'm now an elected TD here in Ireland, an independent of that, non-party. Uh, but I, wa <clears throat> excuse me, I am a former president of the Irish Road Haulage Association, your equivalent being the Road Haulage Association. And I had been in transport for some 30 years, uh, pre my election. So just to combine both of what uh, presentations you've seen this morning, particularly to start with Catherine's, here in Ireland, we haven't uh, it doesn't appear that we're as far ahead. Uh, we have the same plan as the UK effectively in that we intend to be uh, eradicate fossil fuel by 2030 and that we would have completely be carbon free by 2050. The reality of that is that we need to start very soon. Uh, the preparation, uh, even in relation to cars and small vehicles, isn't very far ahead. The infrastructure is lagging. The purchase of the cars, they're very expensive. There's a small grant of 5,000 euros towards the purchase of an electric vehicle. Uh, however, we have VRT on our vehicles, which you don't. Uh, so, and in relation to the HGV and light commercial sector, there's really no proposal. And that's because we're an island, off an island. And we have to consider greatly what the trends are, both in the UK and in the mainland EU, when we go to remove um, vehicles and one thing or another from the island to move our goods. But I do think our climate action bill, which hasn't yet passed through the houses of the Oireachtas, um, that will be coming on the scene in January. It does have proposals, uh, but we are having to follow the European uh, models in relation to whether it is going to be hydrogen or electric. And the issue with electric, as, we, as I know from being a haulier, is to be able to replace the torque and the power in the vehicle without affecting the weight that the vehicle can carry. So it is complicated. It doesn't appear yet that anybody has mastered that. But um, what we don't have here in Ireland are clear air zones. Uh, we pretty much need to be looking at it because Dublin, uh, which is our major capital city, is uh, exceeding highly in NOx emission levels set by the EU. And it's because we have our largest port infrastructure here in Dublin. Um, it's causing a problem. That port is set to expand, which is a negative from that perspective. And it's, it, there are other ports around the country where they could disperse that kind of dev development. Um, but ultimately, we need a clear air zone, a clean air zone here in Dublin. It's something that worked particularly well in London. I know from a, an operator's perspective, it was either pay huge um, permits or just trade your truck and upgrade it to what we would know as the Euro 6 standard. And that's particularly what's being promoted here in Ireland is the Euro 6 standard, which is the cleanest engine spec that you can get from diesel or gas at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, in Ireland, we have a very old fleet of trucks, but we probably have as many trucks and more going to the EU mainland as the UK does. Uh, but particularly for us, we need an incentive here like like a scrappage scheme or a capital allowance scheme in order for the hauliers who work off quite low profit margins to upgrade the fleet. And I don't think penalties, as, as uh, Catherine had said, penalties are not necessarily uh, the way to go because the profit margins of the hauliers are quite low and they need incentives uh, to be able to upgrade. Thank you very much. <laughs>